hello guys so let's start working on our project first of all I will simply open up the Android studio as you know that we will be developing the user app the sellers app and the admin web portal in this course so we will go step by step first of all we will start from the users app so after opening the Android studio just click on this new flutter project okay just click on it then click next and here we have to provide our project name so the name must be in small English alphabet for example I'm going to give it name as users and do not give any space for example if I say users space app do not give name like this okay instead of space you can use underscore just like this okay users underscore app just like this then I will simply click on finish creating flutter project so my project is creating now and it has been created successfully now here this is our users app project make sure that from here this project is selected okay this project option make sure that it is selected by default mostly it is selected but let's say if any other option is selected then you have to make sure that you select this one project okay and then this is our project which is users underscore app and then if you expand this here we have this live folder okay inside the live folder basically we uh, create our code files you can say we program or implement our code dot dot files okay for example here is our main dot dot file which contains the default dot programming language code okay the default code basically we will of course now run this and we will change it according to our needs because we do not need this default code okay and step by step we will go so you will understand everything I'm going to open up a emulator now in order to open up the emulator you have to simply click on this option which is ABD manager I have created these two emulators okay for testing the user app I just give it name as user app and for testing the seller app I just give that emulator name as seller app let's say if you have not created any emulator then you can create one by simply clicking here on this create virtual device emulator simply means virtual device okay so you can simply click here okay and from here you can choose any phone you want okay for example this one has a uh, big size okay the resolution of the screen is big so I will select this one and then I will click next and then from here you can uh, go with uh, API level 28 or 30 is good okay then click next API level 30 I just choose and here you can give it name to your emulator or you can say to your virtual device so I will just simply give it name as uh, my new phone okay you can give it any name you want and then you have to simply click on finish so here you can see this my new phone virtual device has been created so this is so simple and so easy now in order to open up you have to simply click on this play button so I want to open up my user app phone so I'll simply click on this play button and it will now open up the phone as you can see here okay now you can close this window and let's wait for the emulator to open so the emulator has been opened successfully and now as I told you guys we do not need this default code so here you can see this my home page just minimize this code okay by clicking here on this minus button okay and then also my home page stat we do not need this also so let's just remove my home page and my home page stat okay we do not need that also remove these comments and then uh, the next thing is in front of this home 
we will provide our initial path here that is the screen or you can say the initial page from where we want to start our application so in our case just for now we will start our application from the home screen so for that purpose uh, I will create a new folder and as I told you guys we will create all the code files inside the lift folder okay first of all inside the lift folder I will create a new folder right click on lib new directory okay if you are using a macbook or a mac system mac os system then it is by the name package okay so just click on this directory and we have to give it name so i will give it name as man screens okay so man screens folder has been created inside the lift folder now right click on man screens new dot file and we will create our first screen inside the main screens which will be by the name home underscore screen now remember when you name the uh, dot files then make sure that is the name must be in small english alphabets and instead of space you can use underscore okay so please use small english alphabets so i just give it name as home underscore screen and inside the main screens it has been created which is home screen dot dot file so let's just quickly implement this we will uh, for now we will just create quickly a stateful widget as just write stf okay and then press enter it will just give you this suggestion stateful and let's give it name as home screen So as I told you guys on the main dot dot in front of home we have to provide our initial path you can say initial route or our initial screen that is from which screen we want to start our app. So we want to start our app from the home screen and it is by the name home screen. So I will just say here that is home screen okay just like this so simple and so easy and then come back here to the home screen and what I want to show you guys is first of all let's just test the F first to see what we get so this is our home screen okay which is an empty black screen because we have not yet implemented any design from the for the home screen so let's just quickly add any uh, widget here I will add a scaffold widget and I will quickly add a app bar okay so I will say app bar and then here I can say app bar and let's add a title for now just for the testing purposes okay and I will say hello world so now if we run the app then here you can see hello world so this is now our home screen which contains uh, an app bar only okay as you can see here and the default color of our this whole app which is the user app is basically we can set that from the main dot dot so here you can see this primary switch we can simply go with the default color purple okay and then uh, also let's set the title of our this user's app as you know it is user's app so we will just give it title as Amazon clone user's app or you can say Amazon clone users uh, application whatever title you want to give here so yeah and one more thing is if you want to remove this debug banner from here then you have to use a property which is this one debug show check mode banner okay and then you have to set this to false so it will basically remove that debug banner so this is all about our users app flutter project which we have successfully created and we have tested it successfully and for now we just uh, using the scaffold widget at the app bar we display this uh, hello world text message using the text widget